Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today I'm doing a summer makeup transformation for you guys. Super simple, easy, and fun, and I'm also trying out a few new products like this one. This is the Milk Oil Stick, and it just looked really interesting to me, so I decided to use it for the first time today. And it was super hydrating in a really fast absorbing way. So as you see, I even put it on my lips, and it just made my skin feel really soft, so I liked it. Now I'm going in with my Smashbox primer and this is the pores one so it's supposed to get your pores to disappear like Houdini uh, no but it actually does really smooth your skin so I like that and then I'm going in with my orange concealer because I had a zit the other day I know crazy so I'm putting it over that and then any of the darker areas on my skin and then just blending it in with my finger because it's super easy to do that and since this is a really pigmented orange you can spread it out very easily and it will just go blend right under any concealer foundation you put on it I'm also going in with my e.l.f. concealer, which was like $4 of amazingness, and I discovered this about a month ago, two months ago, maybe three, but I really like it and it matches my skin tone. I'm mixing my CC cream and my foundation together so I can get all the benefits of the CC cream. I did use a little bit more foundation in that, um, BT dubs. But I like how it gives me the SPF and kind of thins out the foundation a little bit and it's just, it feels really good on my skin in the summer when I don't want to be cake faced. Now I'm going to use a milk concealer. These are also somewhat new and this is in deep and it's a perfect contouring color for me. I am doing like triangles on my cheekbones so it can kind of taper out like how you should contour because it really is about the shape that you apply and the shape that you create. And I find that making triangles is a really good way to start out before you blend it. It just makes everything a lot easier. Also slimming down the sides of my face, chin, my little almost butt chin. I like to define that uh, if you guys haven't noticed. And then blending out the nose with my finger because you get a lot more precision that way. And then going in with my Makeup Forever brush to blend out the rest of that. Now I'm using a very light setting powder because I usually use a colored foundation powder to get more coverage, but since my skin is actually not misbehaving this summer, I can just set it lightly like that. Also bronzing up with the new Becca bronzer, which is a really beautiful color on my skin tone, and if you have any skin similar to mine, if you have skin, this will be a great color on you as well. Uh, I also really like this blush because it's deep enough that it looks really good on my summer skin tone and it also blends really well with the bronzer. Of course I'm using Rodeo Drive by Ofra as my highlight, which I've been using faithfully like almost a year now, um, putting that on my nose, cheekbones, everywhere, going in and doing my brows. Same way that I usually do my brows, except they're a little bit thinner now because I did get tired of doing overdone large brows and now I'm just going with a little slimmed down version. Here I'm going in with my eye primer, as usual, top and bottom, blending that out with my fingers. And now I'm using a basic matte brown with this cute little brush, it's so skinny and fluffy. <laughs> Blending that into my crease, just adding it in layers so I can make it exactly what I want and then using a clean brush to blend it out. Now I'm using a shimmery yellow and this is from Makeup Geek. I think all of these shades are from Makeup Geek and I'll have every product I use list in the description box down below, but I just love the Makeup Geek eyeshadows and they're also a really amazing price. I'm using the metallic pink, and by the way, Makeup Geek has amazing metallic colors. Um, Leah actually broke my silver one, so you guys should go shame her on Twitter for doing that to me. But anyways, I still have this pink one. Uh, I'm highlighting with my Ofra highlight, and I tend to use this for just any highlighting I need to do, just because it's so universal. Going in with my most matte white liner, just to make my eyes brighter and summery looking and just a lot wider. I'm setting that with a matte white eyeshadow, also for Makeup Geek. This is just a good way to keep your eyeliner from moving, but don't get this in your eyes because it is uncomfortable. I'm just going in with a matte blush pink on the bottom, just to even out the top and bottom, 
put in a little yellow in the inner corner and then I'm gonna top that off with Rodeo Drive of course just to make it pop all that much more now I'm just using any black eyeliner and tight lighting the tops of my eyelids and I'm also pushing it through my lashes a little bit to get a little bit above the line but mostly just tight line and get as much definition as you can by doing that method throwing on my Ardell's and some mascara to make it a little bit more dramatic. And these are Ardell 122s, and my usual is Ardell 113s, which I love, but I couldn't find them, so I decided to try out the new one. And these aren't as dramatic, so that's why I'm actually going to coat these with mascara, but I do like them for an everyday look, especially if you're doing something simple like this without any top liner. Now I'm going in with my current favorite lip product, and it's the Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid Pigment in Mauve Wife and it's just the perfect color for my skin. Slicking down those baby hairs as you got to and your makeup is done. That was a super simple look for summer and it's not too cakey or too much on your face. So if you guys try this out, definitely tweet me a picture. All the links and products and all of my social media are in the description box down below. So I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I'll see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.